Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've come on today to show you my Surprise Creation Store March Design Team Package. Um, but before I say that, I just really, really want to say <clears throat> a huge, huge thank you to everybody. I'm now just over 2,000 subscribers and um, I do have a little bit of thanks to Sasha Reed here on YouTube. We're both on the same design team and we've both been chatting about this dye that we got that, you know, we was a bit flummoxed about and yeah, so... Sasha has mentioned me on her channel and I really really do appreciate it um, I got 12 subscribers last night which has taken me over the 2000 so I will link Sasha's channel down below she is on a few design teams she designs for Elena Cuttle which is Elena Crafts um, and she does some other amazing projects so I'll link her down below please do go on over and give her a like <coughs> a subscriber me so <coughs> I'll show you the dies that I've got. Most of these dies are Easter themed as it's around March. And the first one is this. I haven't cut everything out, but I have cut some. I've made a project here and there, but I will be making more projects. This is like an Easter, the Easter eggs. And there's a stitched design there. So that would be nice. You could make a shaker card behind there. You could put some little bunnies on, some chicks. It would just be a really nice size. And I haven't got my ruler. Hang on. <clears throat> I think I've got a frog in my throat. So it does measure roughly about, what is it, cutting edge to cutting edge is four and a half that way, inches, by just over four and a half. So it's a really nice size. That's that one. Then we've got this one. And when you cut this out, it does come into two pieces and then there's some grass and some flowers. This bit would be the centre of these little flowers and you could pop the smaller ones on top of here. This is a little sign, little plaque. You could pop on that writing that you get there and push it behind the egg. Um, I can't remember what this says. Bunny kisses and something wishes. But I haven't cut it out. I can't quite make out what that one is. But um, it's a really nice design. And we'll make some nice little cards. Um, I've just got my laptop on because there is a bit of a sale on some of the dies. So I just want to see. Right, yeah. This one does have 15% off on the website at the minute. It was £4.06. It's now £3.45. £3.45. And this one has 15% off as well. So that's down to 3.59 as well so <clears throat> well worth a look which obviously the link will be in the description bar below then <clears throat> we've got this one and this is um, like an egg tag and you get a nice stitched pattern around there with the cute little bow and that's a really nice size as well not nice on a bag so that's about three and three quarters by about two and a half and I did make a little shaker so here's the little shaker card and I've just stuck on thanks a lot. I've Thank used the little you. bow and then I've just cut it out a few times just to thicken it up. And I just think that's really pretty. So that's that one. <coughs> then we've got a set and you can buy these individually, I'll just check again, or as a set. And yeah, they're on sale as well and they've got 15% off. So if you buy the two together, one's a straight edge. Sorry for the glare, but if you can see, that's got a straight edge on it. And this one is a stitched edge. So if you buy them together, they're 15% off and they're £11.20 on the website for the both. And you are getting one, two, 11 dies, so it should be the same. 11, yeah, so 22 dies for £11.20 is <clears throat> brilliant, I think. So that one is about eight and a half inches by about six. And you could layer, you could, you know, layer the stitch behind the straight and vice versa. They'll just make some really nice cards, even a nice gift bag. I did um, a circle one um, last time. And I did do a... I did do a project here, but I did the circles with the stitch circles, so that was really nice. So you could do like a similar bag with the egg as well. 
So that's that one. Then we've got got this one. This is really pretty. So it embosses this design all on your card and then you've got the two layering pieces as well. And for that is five by five. It will be, yeah, five by five inches. So it's a really, really pretty design. It's all stitched. Um, so yeah, we'll be making some nice cards with that. And then we've got this one as well. And at first, I thought this medallion type thing could sit in there. It could sit in there. It will fit in because it's similar kind of pattern as well. So you could pop that in the middle of there. And then you've got this little piece you could put um stamp a little tiny sentiment on there or I've made a little key ring <laughs> so I've just used a book ring because I haven't got any key rings but it still works the same but the pattern is just beautiful sorry for the glare if you can see so that would look nice attached to um, a little bag or well anything really you could leave the back plain and put to and from on it I just think that's really, really cute. So that's that one. Then we did get this one. Now, I contacted Surprise Creation because they do always contact you back. They do get back to you. It's usually early hours in the morning because of the time difference, but they're so on the ball with um, their customer service and, you know, if you've got a problem, they will get back to you. So... This is a pop-up die. Now, I'm just going to bring it up on the website because, again, this has got 15% off as well. So you get this base piece, and this is the die that Sasha and I were really <laughs> baffled about. So if I just move all of this to one side, <clears throat> I can show you the pieces. So you get... This is the, the base, and these are all the bits. I did cut some out. Um... And there is an extra bit, and I'll explain to you in a minute. So these are all the pieces that you get. You get This is the card base, and this is where I was confused. Didn't realise, but you do fold this in half. And then this is the longer strip, and there's two ends on. So these are the little tabs. You fold this in half, half, and you would attach it to your square. Just a minute. Right, I do have some pieces that I cut out. Right, so there's that piece. Let me just take these off here. Right, so these are the pieces. Right, let me just double check. Yeah, they're the pieces. So I'm just going to move them out of there. I thought I cut some out. So you get a fence, which is here. So you get this nice fence. Okay, then you get the trees, which cut out. Like that, and you can see it all the intricate bits on there. Then you get like mountains, okay? So that cuts out like so, and then you get the grass. Right. I'm not 100%, I didn't cut this one, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. But it could be like a grass, grass hills, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So that's the card base. This is your strip. I'm missing a smaller strip in my set. Um, but like I say, I've contacted them and, and they will send a replacement. But it's just like a half version of this one. You could probably... I, I could make it. But I haven't made the card because I wanted to wait for the correct pieces. But you fold your card base in half. So... Fold that in half, and that would be your base for your card. And then you fold this one in half as well. And then this will attach. In fact, shall I just do it? Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just attach this. Mm -hmm. 
to the edge. Let me just fold that out. So that piece will attach there. And then this side, oopsie, will attach on the other side. Okay. Like so. Right. So, <laughs> it will stand like this. Okay. Let's just fold it out. So that's how your card will stand. And then all the other pieces, well, the piece that I'm missing is another one of these strips, but a smaller one, and they will go across here. And then this piece, you could attach your fence on the front. So let's have a look. You could attach some fence here. Shall we just attach it on? Let's fold this in half. This is a really quick and not very great demonstration because, um, you know, I want to do it properly when I get all the pieces, but if you like this and you want to go ahead and just purchase it anyway, let's just attach that onto here. And then you could pop some grass. So let's just fold that. I would probably ink these just to give them a bit of definition. But you can then place the grass. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So again, right at the bottom, I'm going to put this grass. Obviously, I'd have a piece on the back, or I might ink some clouds, or you know, something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But now, just make sure all that is firmly stuck down. So, you could also fold your hills in half as well. And again, I would ink these up, should have done this in before they would go on your card base first obviously so let's just pretend probably can't get it in now let's just pretend that was in <laughs> let's pretend that was already there Right, so let's pretend that we're there already. So already, you've got a little scene. You could put some clouds in the top, and I think that's really, really... I really love it. Just get that out. And it would stand like that, and that would be a pretty card with... You could put flowers on, but that's how it goes anyway. Um, like I say, I just need the piece across the middle. But that would be how you would build it up. So I hope that helps if you want to have a go and do it yourself. So that's that one. Really, really love that. Let's pop the glue away. And then obviously you could add your trees on as well. Let's smooth that now. My favourite, and we know, all know that Surprise Creation do humongous dies. And these are just massive. I can't even fit them in my box, but I'm just going to go back up on the website because, again, these are, these are on 15% off as well. You can buy them single or you can buy them as a set. So you get the straight edge, like with the eggs, and you get 10. So you're getting 20 dies. And they are £18.43 for the set. Um, and then you get this stitched... Uh, not stitched like a rough edge it's really 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 beautiful and they are massive so they measure from the cutting edge to cutting edge about 11 inches so you could fit one of these on a piece of A4 and don't forget if you are going for the larger dies 
for this biggest one you do need a large machine um i've recently my husband bought me the gemini um so i've got that and i've got the big shot plus but the smaller ones will go let's have a look into um a standard big shot so this is one of my standard big shots so as you can see that is just way too big and let's try the second one and again the second one is too big as well but let's try this one and the third one is, so it's the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. So the first three largest ones will not go in a standard size machine. But you could still make some gorgeous cards with the rest of them. Um, let's get this back on there. I have made a card and I haven't used the largest. I have used the third one in. And... Um, <laughs> Here's what I came up with. So, which one is it? Is it this one? I'm sure it is. Yeah, so it's the third largest that I've used for this card. Um, and I've got loads and loads of Wink Costello on the side, if you can see. Each patterned piece of paper, I've laid some vellum over as you can see there Oops. on this one and all I did was curved it to make it appear 3D like a book now in my stash I had a, these little legs <laughs> and I just stuck them together on a piece of card I loaded them up with the wink of Stella and then it does stand. I do need to make it a bit stronger though, but it does stand up. So you can make yourself a little card stand and, you know, it does really look really nice. I've put some flowers on. I've used a little die to tuck underneath some of the pages, but I really think it's absolutely beautiful. So you just think of the dies you could create. It really does look 3D as well. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you are um, on my Facebook group, which is Crafting with Danielle Rose, you'll see that card on there and along with all my tutorials that I share. So that's it. That's my design team package for March. I know it's a bit early, but everything is on the website now. And like I said, there is some percent off. So get your sign on over there and have a look. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.